Hello. Teletext Corporate Headquarters. Morning, Jane. Are we the early bird? Morning, oh. Mr. Schmaltz. Thanks for noticing. Early bird gets my worm. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Hey, where's that competitive analysis on those tampon thingies? Huh? I mean, a man can't be doing that. It looks a little weird. You'll have the... the report in the next hour. Okay, great. You look great. You look great. Hey, listen. My office door is always open for you, okay? Work hard, everybody! Pig. Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, shit. Miles, do you have any napkins? Miles, do you have any napkins? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah. It's just coffee. It'll come out. It's not just coffee. It's... You know, you don't have to take that from him. Right. And what will happen if I plan to heal in his groin? Any ideas on how to get my monthly student loans paid? You can't even see the stain. It's okay. Thanks for trying. I'm gonna get back to work now. Mr. Schmelz, remember there's an order around here? We can't all be minions. Uh, this company doesn't make two billion a year without a hierarchy to be maintained, right? Mr. Schmelz, here's the market share report you requested. Uh, let's see what we got. This is the one about the penis. Hmm? What are you doing? You're being passive aggressive. Sit down, weirdo. This is embarrassing. What the hell is this? What did you do? I mean, did I ask for toilet paper? Sir? No, I asked for a data model on our pharma client, Ferex. So why didn't you give me something for wiping my ass? Huh? This shit isn't even formatted properly. Now, can you comply with company protocol? Huh? It's trash. I, uh... I mean, you might very well be the, the worst data analyst we've ever had at this company. You're killing me, man. What's wrong with your brain? Are you a dickwad, Miles? It's just a rough draft. Buddy, you give me final drafts. Rough drafts? I want smooth drafts, like, like a baby's ass drafts. Now, let me be candid. I want to know who's popping what pills and where. Which antidepressants is Aunt Gertrude on, and what can we get her hooked on next? Which boner pills are selling like M&Ms? Which cheer captain is about to go off the pill and get preggers, right? Now you take this pile of shit and you flush it down the toilet with the rest of the shit in the world. I want a new pile of shit on my desk in the morning. Do you got that? And what do I want it to be? A final draft, okay? Thanks for the constructive criticism. Man, I didn't become boss by jerking people off, right? I leave the sit down. <sighs> I leave that shit to the interns. I jerk myself off. You got me. Get out of here. Man, you got the personality of a stale cracker. Miles! You grew up in a barn, son, huh? Shut the effing door now. <laughs> okay, all today's scrum is now in session. Let's talk risks, roadblocks, and deadlines. Jane, what were you working on yesterday? What are you doing today? Well, I'm still working on that data analysis for Ferrix, Linus versus tampons, average length of use, scented versus unscented, same blood. Different day. Thank you, Jane. Any risks or roadblocks? The time wasted here at the Daily Scrum is my only roadblock. All right, then. Miles, how about you? What were you working on yesterday, or what are you working on today? 
I have got that predictive modeling report on Ferrex for Schmelz, but he just called me a dickwad and threw it in the trash. That sounds like a parking lot conversation. You do not need that liability here. Any other risks or roadblocks? Okay, then. Mordecai, what were you working on yesterday? What are you working on today? I'm running a full CBA on the market viability of a robot space army. <laughs> What? It's not funny. This is serious stuff. It is serious. They're not human and they could turn on us. What do you think NASA stands for? Not a space army. Thank you, Mordecai. They said the Death Star wasn't possible and it happened. Out of the way, loser! Fuck you! At least it'll cool you off. Come on, Summer. Miles, my man. Hey, Avi. How's your day going so far, man? Uh, could have been better. Yeah, man. I hear you on that front. Dude, you know, you really shouldn't be buying this stuff. I mean, legally, they can't even label this crap cheese. Price is right. Oh, man, well, the price is always right here, huh? Hey, so you getting any pussy? Uh, no, not, not really, man. Not really? Dude, because you know I am, man, because I keep it hot. <laughs> uh, sounds dehydrating. Nah, dude. I drink lots of water. Know what I mean? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miles. Uh, hey, Juanito. What are you talking about, Javier? Nothing, Mama. We're just having some friendly guy conversation. Oh, really? Friendly yeah. guy? It sounds like a loser conversation to me. Oh, here we go. Por favor, Miles, don't act like him because you're going to end up like my pendejo hijo. My God. I mean, you wouldn't want that, would you? I mean, would you like to have your mama as your boss forever and ever? I'd really just like to get these things and get out of mama, here. Mama, go oh, away. Ma Miles ma doesn't ma want to hear this either. Mom, please. By the way, yes, he would like to hear this. You know, you, you haven't been on a date for like over a year. Cállate, mama. No, no, no. A mí tú me respetas. Respetame que soy tu madre. Cógelo con take it easy, please. Oh, go. Oh, fuck. Shut up. Yeah. Hey, what do you see me go out tonight, Miles? Grab a drink. Mac on the ladies? What do you say? Uh, look, man, I wish I could, but I just got, I got a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna finish off. Oh, okay, okay, hey, hey, let me know if you change your mind, though, huh? I'll be your wingman. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Mama, why do you gotta embarrass me like that in front of Miles? <sighs> hey, does he? You have a good day? Isn't good having all of us gone.
Knock, knock. What's up, bro? Catch. Great catch. Do you ever think about how fucked up the world is? Like, actually, how fucked up it is? Yeah, look, Jameson, this isn't a good time. I gotta do work. Do you know that people get Ebola from eating bats? Like, they eat bats, and they get Ebola. Like, how fucked up is that? Well, I don't know what news you're reading, but this really is not a good time. I gotta get a lot of work done, otherwise I'm gonna lose my job. Job? How can you think about a job at a time like this when there is so much fucked up shit going on in the world? I can think about jobs right now because I actually need one to survive. I don't have a trust fund to fall back on, unlike you. You mean my artistic stipend for the novel I'm writing about the golden age of breakdancing? It's not a stipend if your parents give you money for doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm working out the novel in my head. I, I'm, I'm finding the scene. I'm exploring the original B-Boys, you know? It's 1972 and I'm living in the Bronx. You know, I, I gotta have my schedule free so that way I can get in the right headspace. You always gotta be in the right headspace. You know, the, the novel actually writes itself through you. Like, it actually comes up through you and is out the fingers. That is quite literally the most absurd thing I've ever heard. It's 2019, you're not from New York, and what do you know about breakdancing? What do you know about breakdancing? Wow. Exactly, see? The point is, I'm actually doing something with my life. What are you doing? What are you working on that's so important, huh? So it's a data market thing for a drug company. Oh, a drug company. Nice, man. Mr. High and Mighty is over there working on slicing the data for the evil drug corporation. Fa fantastic, man. Bravo. I'm not happy to be doing it. It's just a job. You got to get out of your funk, bro. You used to be so much fun. Now look at you. You're, you're eating fucking bologna sandwiches, working on data analysis for drug companies. Bologna sandwiches, man. Do you know what these are made of, do you? They're made of lips and assholes. This is the lip in the asshole of the animal that... Lips and assholes, that's what they are. Yeah, well, I need to keep my shitty job so I can continue eating these shitty bologna sandwiches. And if I play my cards right, maybe I'll even be able to afford a shitty car payment. I mean, how do you not have a car in LA, bro? It's like, fuck, oh, man, no offense. But you're like one step above homeless. Mm. <laughs> you got a fucking awful life. It is shitty, and it is my life. Thank you for reminding me. Now please leave and leave me to my own private misery. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I I'll go. I just, uh, I was just trying to help. Thank you. Good luck with the drug company. Thank you. Uh, no? Jane. Okay. All right, buddy. Sometimes you will. All right. See take later, the buddy. beer. Oh, I will take that beer. And I will see you later. Buenos nachos. Yeah. Immediate termination. Yes, fucking please. You're late. Yeah, I was up all night working. Schmatz is looking for you. He looks pissed. More than usual. Perfect. <sighs> what? I am so sorry I'm late. Answer, what? What? Just, so sorry I'm dude, late. Dude, close the door. What are you doing? Just sit down. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up. God damn it. Pick that shit up. Ears open, mouth shut. This is a box. Times my watch say. Nine nineteen. It's sir. Time we start work here at Telplex. Nine, sir. That's unacceptable, man. Morgan, we need to talk. Well, Eileen, I'm in the middle of the fuck. We need to thing. talk right now. I, I, okay. What is it, Eileen? No, not in here. Not in front of whatever his face is. Miles. Shut, shut up! up, Morgan. Chop chop. Okay. Okay. Stay here, right? With him. Okay. 
Yeah, sit tight. You can't keep doing that to me. I'm the boss. It's important. I'm in charge of shit. Pick it. I don't care. Just. What are you doing here, sir? Get out of here now. What about the farmer report? Well, I don't know. What do I look like? Your fucking brain? Close the door, barn boy. I'm working. Take a break. I'm busy. You're wearing pink underwear with little white polka dots. What the fuck did you just say to me? Don't talk to me outside. No way, you creep. Schmelz has a hidden camera under your desk. Meet me in the parking lot in five. camera of me? They're all around the office. He has spy cams of you, Eileen, and Sarah on his computer. Unbelievable. He even has a camera in the bathroom. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. We should call the police. So those videos can end up on YouTube for all to see and I get to be some sad news story that everyone laughs about? Uh, I'm sure the police would be discreet about There's it. There's no way. We'd get raked through the coals as a teleplex office whores and then Schmelz would get off with a slap on the wrist and some probation. Men like him always get off. I mean, what he's doing is wildly illegal. Do you think that stops bastards like him? I mean, have you been living under a rock? I say screw the judicial bullshit. Yeah. He needs to pay, now. I really think we should let the proper authorities handle this. Quit being such a dickwad and stand up for once, Miles. Okay, so what did you have in mind? I just want that sleazeball to pay. Yeah, um, well, I guess I've done my bit here, so I'm gonna... Wait, Miles, promise you won't tell anyone? Yeah, promise. Coming? I need a second. I'll see you inside. Okay. You missed the scrum. Something came up, Gordy. You know, we're deep in the sprint right now. We gotta spike up, or we're gonna miss our delivery date on Ferrex. I'll be at tomorrow's scrum, okay? A certified scrum master, I must hold my fellow members accountable. Look, Gordy, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do here. I do, but I don't need a daily scrum or a burn down chart or a scrotum master telling me what to do every day. I just want to do my job and be left alone. It's scrum master, Miles, and you're being a real scrum bag right now. Make the meetings, or I'm gonna have to mark you as an impediment. Do what you gotta do. Study that schedule. I won't let you miss our deadline. Oh, and if I'm a scrotum master, you're my ball boy. <laughs> Don Yawada. I prayed to the god of the elephant king. Don Yawada. Deliver us from our temptations. Don Yawada. I prayed to Brene Brown. Don Yawada. Is this a bad time? Hey, buddy. What's up? Come on in. No, I was just doing some yoga, drinking some whiskey, getting myself in the right mind space so that I could work on my novel. Right. 
Uh, do you have anything to drink? Do I have anything to drink? Oh. Here. Thank you. <sighs> Namaste, fucker. Thank you. <clears throat> so what's up? Uh, I just had a weird day at work. Copy or break again? No. Oh, did the bum at the bus stop punch you in the face again? No. Ooh, did the did the guy that pees in his hand do the thing where he pees and he throws it at you? You know what, man? Forget it. Dude, don't be so sensitive. I'm just fucking with you. Relax. God. What's up? You promise to keep your trap shut? Yeah. Promise? Mm-hmm. So, today when I was in my boss's office, I discovered that he's been spying on the women at work. Isn't that what you do? You guys spy on people. Not like this. I'm talking like hidden cameras around the office. Wow. Yeah. You remember Jane? Yeah. Well, he's even got one hidden under a desk. You, you, you saw it? Yeah, I mean, it was an accident. Uh-huh. Sure, buddy. Accident. Okay. Man, that is some sick shit. Your boss is fucked up. Yeah, so... Now I don't know what to do. Dude, you have found Smog's weak scale. Now it's time to let that black arrow fly. One, that's ridiculous. Two, stop making analogies to The Hobbit. Uh, you've worked for that company for years, man. Years, and you barely make enough money to pay for this shitty apartment. Me, I choose to live in a place like this, but for you, it's just desperate. <coughs> Would you stop fucking with me for one second, please? All right. One more. Little... Tell you what, I'm gonna help you out, all right? I'm gonna help you out, but I want half the money. Money, you're talking blackmail. <laughs> I'm not gonna jail for blackmail. As someone who audited a pre-law class at Saddleback Community College, you only go to jail if you get caught. Thank you for the expert legal advice. You're welcome. Oh, shit. It's Jane. Uh, she wants to meet at Crazy Harry's. Dude, it is on! Yes, we are gonna do! Does she have any hot friends? Really think you're missing the gravity of this situation. But I need a ride. Can you drive? Sober as a fox, bro. Really? Let's go. Well, would you put some clothes on, please? Absolutely. Let me just say goodnight to my candles. Holy shit. Danyawada, Brittany. Danyawada, Ariana. Danyawada, Brene. such a stick in the mud. You gotta live a little. Hands on the wheel. What's the big deal? Ten and two. whoop de doo Hands and Jane. I don't see Jane. Let's have a drink. Guys, what can I do you for? Uh, I'll take a day beer. Same here. Dave. And the hipsters. Excuse me? I said that'll be ten dollars. Oh, uh, I do. Oof, I'm sorry, man. I don't have any extra money for a tip. Of course you don't. I'm sorry, man. Honest mistake. Fuck, Grandpa. This place is dope. Yeah. If you're into that. Jane's here. I'm gonna go talk to her. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Just give me a minute. And you don't know anything about anything. Fine. Thank you.
Hey, Jane. I need a drink, stop. Uh, is everything okay? No, I'm not okay. I have a hundred grand in student loans, a terrible job, and a boss who films upskirts of me. My life is total shit. I know what you mean. I sometimes think my dog has a better life than I do. I've worked my ass off my entire life. I took all the right classes. I aced all the tests. I finished my MBA from Wharton with honors. Where did I go wrong? You didn't. It's just a different world now, I guess. To top it all off, I'm another me too. Do you know how that feels? We need to take Schmelz and Teleplex down. That entire place is corrupt. Someone has to put an end to it. Fireball! <laughs> hey. uh, who the fuck are you? Uh, this is Jameson. I think you guys met at the company Mixer a while back. Heard you were having a rough day, Jane. Nothing like a little whiskey can't fix, am I right? Wait, you told him? I am so sorry. Look, I just needed to tell somebody and I'm sorry. Look, I'm not the one you need to be worried about. We can take down those bastards together. What do you mean we can take them down? I'm one of the good guys, Jane. I am here to help. I have come up with a master plan. Hold on. Watch this. Huh? Wonderful. Are you supposed to be a newsie or something? Pleasure to meet you. My name is Jack Brewer from the Daybear Brewing Company, you see? Jack the Brewer? We want to spend loads of money, loads of money on stupid, stupid, stupid beer ads. Will you help us find our target market? Is your friend delusional? Wait, 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 wait. He might be onto something here. Can you organize a sit down with Schmelz? Tell him you have a client meeting with strong revenue implications or something. I can try, but he's not gonna buy that this guy is a big account rep. I mean, look at him. I beg your pardon, Messi? He chooses to look this way, but he can clean up all right. Okay, so what is your plan? While you two are meeting with Schmelz, I'm gonna sneak into his office and download the files off his computer. And how do you plan to break into his computer? Well, you guys just need to keep him distracted long enough so I can figure that out. Okay, Edward Snowden. Let's see how your body handles himself. He doesn't strike me as capable. Oh, I'm capable. I'm capable as fuck, yo. We can do this. We get caught. We're screwed. Yeah. You know what? I don't care anymore. We've been getting fucked for far too long. It's time to fuck back. Mm hmm Yeah! All right. Yeah, let's fuck back. To fucking back. To fucking back! Mr. Schmelz. Mr. Schmelz, good day, sir. It's Schmelz. Schmelz, Schmelz, tornado tostado. 
Does any of it really matter? Mr. Schmaltz, this is Jack Brewer, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Daybeer. Quite an impressive title for such a young eccentric. Thank you. I started at Daybeer when I was 12 years old and I worked my way to the top. I am living proof that child labor is fantastic. Sir, please, if I may. Uh, Mr. Brewer wishes to invest in some market research. Daybeer is looking to make some big moves with its upcoming beer lineup. Mm-hmm. So I'm a bit pressed for time, so let's just cut right to it. How this usually goes down is uh, we determine what you guys are wanting to spend, and then we discuss data packaging and marketing plans, and then your I'm budget. I'm prepared to offer $100 million. What? That's right, you heard me. $100 million. See, I can take my business anywhere, but Jane said that your company can do things that others can. And at Daybeer, we don't just think outside the box. We think outside the can. Corporate data for sale. What? They're selling our identities to the Russians? What the fuck? If I finish this beer before you, I'm taking my business elsewhere. How long are these in your suitcase? Time is irrelevant. Cheers, schmaltzy! Hey, look, before we can mine data on your customers, okay. We must first mine data on our uh, clients, right, Jane? You see, Jack, I can pretty much learn anything I want about anyone. So let's see what there is to learn about you. Jack Brewer. Target value. No likely girlfriend? Fuck you. Oh, Jane's divorced. Huh. Jack Brewer? Nothing? 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 Nothing. Nada. Nada. Nothing, 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 nada, nada, nada. So, uh, Jane, this meeting's over, all right? Just summon security on the imposter thing. Hey, thank you so much, Jack. It was so nice meeting you. Great meeting, sir. Thank you very much. Of course. Enjoy prison. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go get the car, Jameson. I apologize for that. You let some cut-rate grifter onto campus without proper vetting. Do you have any idea how many company policies you just violated? Security! The breach is right there. Drag his ass to the curb right now, please. Thank you. Hey, what are you wearing? What are you doing? Hey, what? I thought he'd be another potential client. I didn't realize I know that. No, you didn't realize because you're an imbecile and now you're fired. What? You heard me. Put your shit in a box and go, go, go. You got me? You want to do this with just a tiny bit of dignity, or do you need to have your ass dragged to the curb, too? Guys, come on! Hey, can I at least get my parking gun in? Sir, please, I... I need this job. Oh, you're just like all the other women. <laughs> just a big pain in my ass, except they put out. Back off! Holy shit! You disgusting animal! Eileen, honey! 
She's just being emotional because because I just fired her sorry ass. You are not that sleazeball. How am I a sleazeball? You're fired. Get the fuck no. out of here now. I quit. You can't quit. I just fired you. That's not how this works. You don't get the pleasure of firing. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm playing this fucking game like a four-year-old. Did you get it? Yeah. Uh, it's even worse than what we thought. Time to go with Schmelz. I've got a problem there. He didn't buy it. And then he fired me. Shit. He fired you? Yep. No more job for Jane. Let's hope we didn't just completely blow up our lives. Uh, it'll be okay. We've got everything we need. Here. You look ridiculous. Got the job done. Barely. Got the job done. And got me fired. You're welcome. Yeah, well, everything we need is on that drive. Good job, Miles. You meet us back at Jameson's place when you're off work? Yeah. My car's parked in the back. Okay. As they say in Mexico, Vaya con Dios! Miles. Hey, Gordy, I've got that report ready. I was just about to circulate it with the team. Can we talk? Look, I, I know this is about the scrum. I'm sorry I missed it again. I've just been really busy with work, and Schmeltz is riding my ass on everything. It's not that. Uh, okay. Come to my office. So, what's up? Miles, do you know that I've worked at the company for 16 years? Uh, wow. No, man, that's, uh, that's a long time. Yeah, going on 17 next month. Impressive. Congrats. The founder, Lee Giorgio, recruited me personally. We had lofty ideas that data could be used to make a difference. We were gonna help people. <laughs> Streamline inefficiencies and better connect the world. Uh, what are we talking about here, Gordy? I know what you and Jane are up to, and I can help. I know how this company operates. No loyalty. I know every dirty and dark detail. If you and I help each other, we can maybe put a stop to their antics. If you've known about this the whole time, then why are you just telling me about it now? I should have done something long ago. <laughs> but I guess I hoped that leave wouldn't take it this far. Yeah. You, you think I'm a corporate lapdog, but I still believe that privacy matters. I want you to come to my place tonight with Jane. I'll give you everything I've got. This is my address. Meet me there at nine. Okay. Uh, I should get back to work. Yes, you should. Okay, Miles, really counting on that analysis. And remember, if there are any roadblocks, we need to uh, put that into the delay of the sprint. ASAP, we need to do that ASAP. But, Denise. Oh. <laughs> Miles, I am here to inform you that Jane has been terminated. Terminated? Yes, she will no longer be working here at Teleplex. I know this must be unsettling, but let me assure you, there will be no further terminations at this time. Oh, Jane worked hard for this company. Oh, you two must have been close. Don't worry, we'll still have fun here at Teleplex. Next week, we've got the Monday Mixer with milkshakes. This place makes me want to jump off a bridge, a tall one. I know you're upset. It's always hard losing a cube mate. Perhaps you'd like to continue this discussion down at HR? No, thanks. I'm just gonna get back to work. Don't forget, we are here to help, Miles. Teleplex is invested in the well-being of its team. We are always here for you. Your eyes don't move. Okay, that should be the last of it. Just gotta reformat the computer and we'll be all set. 
Bring her belongings to my office for sanitization. Well, that's that. Goodbye, Miles. Please, feel free to visit any time. Today's scrum is now in session. Let's talk risks, roadblocks, and deadlines. Jane, what, uh, what do you got going on yesterday? What do you got going today? It's just a little something. She can always have my heart. To your middle finger. Schmilzy! <laughs> you melty my heart! Seriously? What are you doing? Think rewind. What the f Hey, yeah, we got ourselves a little problem. Jameson and I have been going through the files. This is some serious shit. Yeah. Some of it looks pretty intense. It's not just subskirts on there. Teleplex has been collecting information and personal data of every asshole that's unlucky enough to be targeted by Opar. Opar! Like that lost city in Tarzan. I don't know, Jamo. That's that's not the point. I mean, we're talking 500 million people who have had their identities stolen. Maybe more. I mean, this makes Facebook's data breach look like a tea party. They've got files on us and the rest of Teleplex in here. They've even got my DNA profile. Salaries, social security numbers, debts, browsing histories, shopping habits. I mean, they even have something called a kink factor scale. Jameson's a 10. Wait, is that good or bad? I have no idea, but I do know that they're compiling our identities to sell them to foreign governments like Russia and China. Targeted data for clients, it's a commodity enough information on people you can predict their behavior it's all about statistics and probabilities Giorgio probably knows us better than we know ourselves but teleplex hasn't disclosed any of this and they're not gonna let this discovery go lightly no but they don't know what we know yet maybe not I mean I'm sure they're monitoring all data traffic you guys work for a seriously fucked up corporation worked well he still works for him Jamo so now what Tomorrow, I go in there, and I tell Schmeltz that we've got the goods, and we're not afraid to blow the whistle. And what does that mean? It means we threaten to sue or settle. Settle. Court sucks. Teleplex corporate won't want this shit out. Oh, and Gordy said he has some more dirt for us. Gordy? Mm -hmm. No way, OK? He's a corporate borg. He's not going to help us. He claims he wants out. Is that a smiley face? Yeah, no. I don't trust this guy. I think we should hear him out. He said to meet at his place at nine. Okay, fine. Ooh, a secret rendezvous on the cover of darkness. It's hot. doesn't look like anyone's home. Well, we won't know until we go check it out. Jameson, you're staying in the car. What? Someone has to stay in the car and keep an eye out for us. Lookout? I have to be lookout? Lookout sucks. Just text us if you see anything weird or suspicious, okay? Lame. Thanks, Jameson. 
We doing this? I guess so. Okay. Told you. Just let me try again. Well, this was a waste of time. Gordy! Uh, let's not break into Gordy's house. I think we've done enough snooping for one day. The door's open. Huh. Gordy! Is anyone home? Gordy! Couldn't pretend any longer. Goodbye, cruel world. Love, Gordy. This isn't Gordy's handwriting. Oh, so you're Sherlock Holmes now? You know, I've always been partial to Watson. They killed Miles. Tyler Black's killed Gordy. We don't know that for sure. Of course we do. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, oh my. Gordy. <laughs> Is that? A giant dildo. No, the police, you idiot, let go. Shit. Uh -huh. That just stellar work, Jameson. Fuck. What? You guys doing a shitty job. You're such a fucking child. Are you for real? Yeah, you know what? It's because of dudes like you that our generation gets a bad rap. When old man Burns is complaining about the lazy, worthless millennial down the street who can't hold a job, he's bitching about dudes like you. Oh, fuck you, Miles. Quit acting like you're God's gift to the goddamn world. You think you're so much better than everyone else just because you have a shitty job at a shitty company that's making the world shittier. Well, congratulations, bro. You're a real rock star. Your mom must be so proud. Ow! Ow! Not the butt! Get off the butt! Ow! Stop! Both of you need to get your shit together right now! Miles, do I need to remind you that we just found our dead co-worker? Wait, you have a dead co-worker? Yes, Cordy's dead. Probably for talking to us. Technically speaking, we don't know it's because he talked to us or someone else, or maybe he did just kill himself. He's actually dead. Yes, body dead. No more Gordy. And you didn't call the cops? Jamo, they just showed up. We've been set up. Nope, that's it. I am out. What? Dude, I am done. This mission is FUBAR. When people start dying, it is time to cut your losses and move on. Jameson, stop. That's right. Quitting as usual. Miles, shut it. Jameson, we've got to stick together. Jamo, get in the car. You know I hate that name. Jesus, okay, uh, look, I'm sorry, okay? What are you sorry for? Oh, Jesus Christ, Jamo, get in the fucking car. I just, I need to go and cool down right now, all right? I just need some space. Just let me go. Jamo, oh, fuck. Should we be worried about him? He'll be fine. He usually just cools off at the arcade. Wow, he truly is a mad child.
roll up windows anymore. God, are you kidding me? Hey, 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 I, I was just joking about the car. Why did we get ourselves into this? This is a total disaster. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Do you like grilled cheese sandwiches? Cheese sandwiches always remind me of being a kid. <laughs> There's something so simple and pure about them. Is this your mom's special recipe? Uh, my dad's, actually. My mom died when I was little, so... Pops did most of the cooking. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It was a long time ago. Are you a little old to be hanging out here? Nope! Five dollars in tokens, please. Thank you kindly, Vanessa. May the odds be ever in your favor. Dizzy. Dizzy as in Dizzy Gillespie? Wait, you know his music? Of course, I love Dizzy. Do you play? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't play much anymore. Um, Teleplay's got the better of my jazz career. How about you? Alto sax. Charlie Parker was my hero in high school band. <laughs> you know, if we put Jameson on the drum kit, we'd have ourselves a pretty hip jazz trio. <laughs> <laughs> More like a hipster jazz trio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a shame he only plays uh, video games, though. Shit. We're empty. Sure you can handle that? Why don't you step in the zone and find out? All right. Let's do it. Loser buys drinks. Deal. when I'm not serving pizza and scraping kids' vomit off ski ball lanes. I love Swan Lake. You're looking at Von Rothbart. Oh, is that right, Barishnikov? I'm actually just about to finish up here. And if you want to grab a drink around the corner. As long as there's karaoke to serenade us. What? What? What are you doing? 
How many times have I told you? Look, I mean, I mean, how how can you understand this? This is smaller than this, Mama, right? Okay, please, the, the just smaller things go up here, so stop. people can you see. Stop! You never it. told me this I, ever. I, I, this I has always I, been here no, all the time. Don't, don't lie to Mama. me. Don't lie to Damn. me. Look, when are you going to learn, darling? Oh, just come. Just, just please. Come. Look, we got customers. Oh, but it's just Miles. Jeez. Hi, good to see you, Miles. Juanita. Yeah, I, I was this young lady. Juanita Jane. Jane Juanita. Oh. <laughs> Buenas noches. Buenas noches. I mean, look how pretty she is. Prettier than you. Eso es verdad, pero el estándar no es muy alto. Qué mala. And clearly she's she's much smarter than both of you put together. Mama, why do you have to say things like that? Look what happens when a boy grows up and becomes a man. You know, you actually attract women other than your mom. Damn. We're actually just friends. Oh, look at you two. Hmm? I mean, you look like a beautiful couple. How can you not be one? <laughs> Anything you want, it's on me. I'll have an old fashioned. <laughs> Lady who drinks whiskey. I think I'm in love. These guys make the best old fashioned in town, hands down. Oh, yeah, we do. Well, if it's the best drink in town, then we gotta try it, right? We'll take two. You're not going to regret it. I don't think I will. So, what drives a single, I mean, I'm assuming single, 30-something dude with no kids to hang out in an arcade by himself? I don't know. I like playing games. It takes my mind off stuff. Is that so wrong? That place has the opposite effect on me. Work takes the joy out of everything. You think so? Absolutely. What do you do for work, then? Well, right now I'm in between jobs, but I'm a writer. Oh, what kind of stuff? Well, right now I'm brainstorming my novel about breakdancing in New York in 1970, but mostly I write just existentialist crisis stuff. Oh, so that's why you're so down. I can't really talk about it. It's like a thing. You know, between the upskirts and the stolen data, we got enough to pull the whistle on these pricks. Have you read the news recently? I mean, evidence doesn't mean much. We're living in the age of alternative facts and pussy grabbing. Well, nothing else. We gotta get rid of schmelz from that place. <sighs> yeah, I truly hate that guy. Yeah, he is the worst. The place is the worst. But at least, I met you there. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. We found out that the company is harvesting data and selling people's identities to the highest bidder. Harvesting? That's messed. Super messed. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Right now I'm feeling very undervalued, so I probably won't do anything. You know what will make you feel better? Another one of these. I think you're right. What do you think I should do? Well, I'm always of the mindset of, if you start something, see it through. What do you think, Fran? Half ass or full ass? Vanny, don't stop until the job is done. Cheers. Vanny. <laughs> Vanny. Vanny? <laughs> well, Vanny, that's what Miles says. He says I quit everything. Maybe he's got a point. Calm yourself. If there's one thing I'm not quitting, it's this drink. Cheers. I want you to play me something. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is way too early in our relationship for that. Oh, come on. Wait. Way too early in our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> play me something. Are you serious? Yes. I want to hear some music. Do it. Come on. Do it. Uh... Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? The... Oh. <laughs> okay. What do you want to hear? Anything. <laughs> okay. Shut up and keep playing. Oh. Come on, let's dance. No, I'm better at dance dance. And you weren't so good at that Von Roth bar. Ouch! So talented, Miles. Oh, shit. That's probably the neighbors. It's a bit late for trumpet. Hey, I am so sorry about that. Oh, that had to hurt. Don't fight us. It won't be fun. What the fuck are you doing here, Schmelz? This is my home. Nice place. Ladies, find the files. I need what you've stolen from me. What? Look, I know you and your little cohorts schemed against me. So where are my files? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, asshole. There's cameras all over Teleplex. You seriously thought there wasn't a camera in my office, too? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. You really are a moron, aren't you? <laughs> Keep searching, girl. <laughs> I haven't sweat this much since I did hot rock yoga. Wow, you're such a hipster. I mean, a pretty hipster, but a hipster nonetheless. <laughs> Kombucha. <laughs> okay. So, uh, where's your place? Uh, it's not far from here. Huh. Come on, I'll give you a ride. There is a 50% chance of penis growth if you use Ferex's Viagra. Lola, Ruby, explain to him how this works. Uh, oh. oh, you were such a bastard. Yeah, Ooh, that's what my mom told me. That kind of language is not going to get you a promotion. Oops, I dropped your computer in the sink and I turned on the water. <laughs> well, there we go. What we do is we marinate that in a good bit of H2O. We put just a little bit of soap on it to make sure it gets good and clean. And then we just let that fucking sit there. Right, Miles. 
He's got a gun! Put that on him, sir. Damn it. I wanted to frisk you. Ouch! Back off, Schmelz. Isn't this just fucking adorable? Mm -hmm. Where's your fucking idiot helper? Huh? Don't Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Maybe because you decided to be a grotesque pig and film upskirts of your employees. You were the Bastard stealing people's identities and selling them to the highest bidder. You're mistaking me for someone who gives a shit. Everybody does it. You buy the latest iPhone, you swipe on your social media. Swipe, swipe, just giving away your life. That's the price you pay for living on the grid. Duh. So, where are my files? Ooh, see, our associate has them. And he is far, far away. I love your hair. Thanks, it's my power source. Whoa, Mama, yeah. Oh, wow, all right. Oh, yeah. Get them off. There you go. Whoa, yeah. If we disappear, all of that shit will be out in the world. And Teleplex, along with you, will be exposed. Our associate is just waiting to push the button. Fuck. 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 Oh, what? God damn it. It's a big boss. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, everything's fine here. Yeah, we're just finishing up. No, not yet. Did you let Jameson know? I tried, he didn't answer. Fuck, damn, where's that guy? Stop talking. That's fucking weird. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, ah! Inverted downward dog, yep. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Do you feel it? Mm, that baby. Oh, mm, that baby. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, fantastic. No. I'm the only one you Wasn't it? I'm practicing the art of Kama Yoga Lattes. It's a mix between Kama Sutra, Bikram Yoga, and Pilates. You're welcome. I for sure thought you'd be a soft lay, but that was something else. <laughs> Danyawada. What? It's Sanskrit for thank you. Oh. Danyawada. The fuck are you looking at? They used to put me in a cage when I was a kid. No, I'm not talking to you, Giorgio. No, that's not true. They didn't put me in the kit. Yes, we're on our way. Pack them up. Giorgio wants to meet our new friends. Uh, wait, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Just hold it, okay? I will pee in your car. Fine. Let her go. Could you turn away, creeper? You better not be shitting! Hurry up! Let's go, Tinkerbell. Say parfait. Double bun. Impressive. Thank you. Been working on it for quite some time now. 
have to grow it out, invest in twice a day conditionings, but it's worth it. I love it. Danyawada. There it is again. My yoga masters are hard ass on me, so basically speak fluent yoga, you know? Okay, well, Jameson, this has been fun, but I better head home. You wanna give me your number? Haven't you heard of a one night stand before? Oh, yeah, I have. Um... I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hey, that was good. <laughs> okay, yeah, that you're funny. <laughs> um, my phone. Where is it? I think it's. Uh... <laughs> oh, um, I think it might have gone over by the dresser when I ripped your pants off. Yes, you did. Got it. All right. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Nine one seven. Shit. What? Uh, is your crazy ex here or something? Remember when I told you I was having a really shitty day? Well, yeah, I don't have dementia. Well, they're psychopath boss and these two buff yet really strangely hot Asian twins just stole my best friends. Excuse me? It's my fault. This is all my fault. What am I gonna do? This is all my fault. I I, I didn't answer. They, they texted me and I didn't respond because I wasn't paying attention because I was boning you and I didn't respond and now they're stolen. Now my friends are gone. What do I do? What do I do? Well, you had a pretty good distraction. This is serious. Oh, um, okay, well, uh, you have the files they're after, right? Yeah. So, you've got the power. They need what you have. That's called leverage? I don't know, because I don't have to get involved, and what if I'm into those Asian twins because they're strong, and I'm like, it's a weird thing that I'm into. You know what? I'm... I'm starting to think your friends were right about you quitting on things. I'll text them. I will text them. There we go. All right. Oh, it's not recognizing me. No, nah, it's because the double man button doesn't recognize my face now. Oh, uh, I'm gonna try it. Here, here, I'll, I'll do the code. I'll do the code. Six eight, six eight, six eight. Six eight, no, not six nine. You do me, I'll owe you one. Cool. All right, we are in. What do I say? How about you start with, where are you headed? Long. Wow, amazing. So where are we headed? Stop talking. Okay, look, look, Jane just sent me a GPS pin. Where are we headed? Take me to Tarzana. Giorgio. Master Giorgio's in the jungle room. Please, come, come, follow me. Let's go, follow Charles. Where the hell are we? I feel like Tarzan's about to jump out. Ah, how keen of you to notice. It's the last home owned by Edgar Rice Burroughs before his untimely death. Master Giorgio is an avid collector of all things Tarzan related. <laughs> You may not know this, but Tarzana was founded by Mr. Burroughs as an enclave for those seeking refuge from the hustling bustle of Los Angeles. No. <laughs> if you could only see it now. <laughs> ah, here we are, the jungle room. Master Giorgio will be with you shortly. Toodaloo. The owner of Teleplex lives here. 
Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> To the scene with my clothes missing. Get off with your friend. Pull up to the scene. No clothes. These two have been a major pain in my ass. I better get my goddamn bonus for the shit they put me through. You'll be lucky if I don't feed you to Lucy. Lucy would just love a juicy sap like you. Okay. Forever. I'm doing the spell thing again. Oh, yeah. That's what animals do when they smell their prey. Now get out. Now. I want my bonus. Miles! Jane. Welcome to my estate. I am Leif Shorgio. Uh, yeah, we're not here by choice. Schmeltz and your thugs dragged us here, so. What do you think of my jungle room? It's a little obsessive. Why do anything at all, if not to obsess over it? Maybe because you sound like a sociopath. Well, obsession and painstaking attention to detail are what got me this far in life. See, they used to call me the king of Silicon Valley. Only Zuckerberg had more success than I at an earlier age, and he created what? A glorified dating website. Ooh. What's your point, Giorgio? My point is that I created the very first algorithm that would allow me to track the purchases and web activity of millions of web models. I know who's gonna buy what and what you're gonna wanna buy next. You see, I have been watching all of humankind since the dawn of the internet. Like an ominous gob. Your ominous gob. Take away all of that, and without my data mining, there is no teleplex and no jobs for you two. Does it feel good prying into people's lives like a petty criminal? Well, you leave your trash out on the street, <laughs> it's gonna get sniffed. You're nothing but a nerd without a conscience. Mm. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Okay, okay, okay. Back off, spray tans. You see, you have something that belongs to me. I just ask that you return it. Wow, this is huge. Who lives here? That teleplex guy must be fucking loaded. My grandpa had a house like this. He was a dick. Look, Fanny, I don't think you should go in there. I'm sorry that I dragged you into this, but this isn't your problem. Uh, it's already my problem. I'm just kidding. I like you. I want to help. I like you too. A lot. Okay, so what can I do? This has got all the files on it. I downloaded it now. I don't know what's going to go on in there, so can you just hold on to this for me? Of course. No problem. Files, give them to me now. If what you're doing is so legal, we have every right to share your business dealings with the public. You absolutely do not. I have a strict NDA with all my clients. With Putin? And with you. You see, sweetheart, you really should read your contracts a little bit more carefully. Hmm. I don't work for you anymore. Oh. And neither do I. I quit. Effective immediately. I accept your resignation. However, you are now in possession of stolen proprietary information. And it is I who should alert the authorities. <laughs> LAPD. Here they are, officers. Take them away. Why don't you do that? And I'll be sure to mention that you sent your goons to abduct and terrorize us in the middle of the night at our homes. Mm, yeah. And one of your executives was secretly recording videos of his female subordinates. Mm. Mm. Sounds like a class action lawsuit to me. 
Smells get your ass in here right now. Yeah. They give me the files, your boss. Does it look like I got the files, you filthy pervert? Whoa, wait, just, 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 look, Matt, just relax, I, I can fix this, I can fix it. I am starting to lose my temper. Of course. <laughs> You've exposed me, Schmelz. That's the bastard with the files. Hello? Who are you and what do you want? Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Jameson Doheny. I'm friends with Jane and Miles. I think you're holding them hostage. So if you could, uh, you know, uh, go ahead and open up. What the fuck? How do they know you're here? Did, did, did he follow you? No, no, this has got to be one of them. Both of you, empty your pockets now. Now! We frisked her! That's not my fault! I don't fucking believe her. Hand it over, now. Now, now. Give it! Really? Shut it. Oh, Charles, where are you? Yes, Master, yes, Master Giorgio. There you are, my sweet precious mm. child. Mm. Um, please get this lump of trash out of my jungle room and incinerate this mobile device immediately. Right, oh, Master Giorgio. Uh, oh, twins, twins. <laughs> I think Mr. Schmelz here may have smelt himself. <laughs> Get him the fuck out of here. Uh, hello? I have the file. Come in through the gate. I didn't, I, I, I didn't mean that. James, you fucker. Oh, and Charles, mm -hmm. take the girls to uh, meet our new guests. Boop. <laughs> Love that man. Both of you, out! That way! That way. Move your tight little asses. Move it. Keep it moving. Left, left, right, left. And here we are. Over sweet. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Move that sweet little ass of you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Enjoy your stay. Don't touch anything. I'll come back to you later. Great. We're stuck in his robot torture lab now. Perfect. Ta-da! Uh, I'm here for Jane and Miles. Welcome, visitor. I'm Charles. These are my lovely twins. Are those real guns? Please, please accompany me to the sitting room. <laughs> this is from Master Giorgio himself. <laughs> come, come, please, please come. What are the chances that Jamo screws this up and we die in here? I'd say strong. Strong to very strong. Yeah. Jamo's a fuck up and Giorgio's a psychopath. Bad combo. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, there he is, the man responsible for it all, my lover. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Are you the bastard that stole my data? You have a really cool house, dude. I love the Tarzan motif, really coming together. <laughs> What's your deal? Oh, I just came from my friends. Is that all you want? That's all I want.
You like to party? I like to party. Uh, let's party then. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. What is this? It's a new designer drug I cooked up. I call it jungle fruit. What does it do? Well, it's got all the euphoria of MDMA, plus the fuck all night of coke. I'm not supposed to do drugs tonight. You want to help your friends? You want to get out of here? Yeah? Try. Be sure. Okay, okay. All right. I will be somebody. 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 God, God, that's gross. Oh. Jesus, you fucking psycho. What are you doing? Sorry for getting us into this mess. Mess. I love being abducted and held hostage by an uber wealthy maniac in Tarzana. I mean, it's just how I unwind after a long day of work at Teleplex. <laughs> no wonder why I'm still single. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you get divorced? Oh, shit. I need to come clean about something. I, uh... I looked at your data profile. Look, I'm sorry, it was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. I just, it was there, and I clicked on it, and... I hate hypocrites. No, I know, and I, you deserve to hate me, okay? But I'm sorry. Look, I'm not judging you. It's okay, I just, um... It's just a painful subject for me. I fell in love for the first time when I was an undergrad at UCLA. Things moved really quickly, and we got married, and then... Life screwed it all up. There's something forward, right? Assuming we don't die here. But yeah, the future is ours. You know, I sometimes get this feeling that we're living in this this weird technological age where everything we do is being monitored under a digital microscope. Brother is watching us. Scary times. And it could be worse. Yeah, it could be. probably asking yourself what am I doing here and the answer to that question is I'm here to rescue you both wait what why would you do that I don't know if you've noticed but I'm employed by a fucking lunatic named Giorgio and uh, that's not my real accent I'm actually from Irvine real name's Ricky anyway you two seem like a lovely pair and I'd hate for you to die here in Tarzana what you're actually here to help us bro I am the rat fleeing the sinking ship you want off or not? Yeah, and what about Jameson? I don't really know how to say this, but your friend is on a crazy drug bender with Georgia. I don't know what the fuck they're up to. <laughs> Boom, more like a cow. More like a cow. More like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I would just, I, I would probably leave him here. I, that's your best bet. Well, we're not gonna leave without him. Alright, well then, you're on your own because I'm done. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I've been here for 13 years. I haven't had sex in seven of those 13 years. Besides, I had sex with Georgia, but 
I don't know what that is. I wouldn't even call that sex. So, uh, you guys coming or not? laughing at. Wow. Oh. No, it's fine. Wow, Schmelz, you really are a piece of shit. No, just stop. You're just a big, fat bully. And you're just a dirty fucking whore with a trashy mouth. Now shut up before I put a bullet in your fucking ass. You will not shut me up. Does it make you feel good exploiting women? Hmm? No, shut up! Does it make you feel like a man? No! I feel sorry for you. Because no matter who you shame or harass, you will always truly be alone. You better be quiet or I will fucking shoot you. I promise you that. Wow. All this time, I thought you were just a pervert. But you're a murderer, too. What? Shut up! No! You killed Gordy, didn't you? No. Oh, no, 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 no. I had nothing to do with that. I had nothing to do with that. Don't be shaking your head like I had something to do with that. I had nothing to do with that. No. What? What the fuck? God. Oh! 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 He's a cool monkey. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> What's his name? Tutu. 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 Wow, that's a cool name. I didn't know you could actually own a monkey. Well, you can't legally, but who's gonna stop me? I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Is he safe? Mm, yeah, just uh, don't give any me of your jungle fruit. Makes him want to eat faces. Bro, your monkey is a sick dancer. <laughs> your monkey's got moves, bro. <laughs> of course he does. He's my fucking monkey. <laughs> Did a little bit of Yeah, I taught him that. Say, you're a fun guy, Jamo. Like, I really don't want to have to hurt you. Please, tell me, how do we resolve our differences? Mm hmm? Files. Yep. Here is your flash drive. I really just came for my friends. He just ate all the drugs. Huh? No. No! Stop, bad tutu! Give me the jungle fruit! No, 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 no. Yeah, 
still be running amok for the next three days. Well, that is a bummer, bro. I'm, uh, ugh. I'm gonna go. No, 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 no. The party's not over. You don't leave. Sit your ass down. Gotta get him out of there. Yeah, I got this one. Hold it, Giorgio. Miles. Welcome to the party. Sit down, psycho. Well, let us not resort to name calling. Miles, there's a fucking gun inside the loincloth thing! Okay, so grab it off him. Yeah. Come and get it. I'm good. Jamo, get the fucking gun! Yeah. Yes, get it. Jamo, what does my fox say? That's not it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Is, bro, is that your real? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's all you? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking good job, man. That's great. Thank you. Hold on. Let me get you. Uh, 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 got it. Look at that. He's got my brother. Bravo. Did you give him the files? JMO! How fucking high are you right now? Pretty, uh. Pretty high. Jesus. JMO, the files! Yeah, 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 I gave him the files. Okay, Giorgio, you have the files. We're leaving and this is over, okay? What is that Hoover? No one ever leaves my parties early. Oh, girls, bring her in here at once. Drop it. <laughs> Drop the gun. Now. Listen to the lady. Welcome to the job. Drop it, now! Step back there. It was out of line. No, man, you're right. I do quit everything. And I need to grow up, so... Uh, well, thanks for not giving up on us, man. You really, really pulled through. Georgia was insane. At least that's all over with now, right? Not so fast. I think I have an idea. Oh, yeah? That and... There's someone I want you guys to meet. Do you have a girlfriend, JMO? A baby? I, I don't know. We don't label things, okay? Stop coming at me with a pointed tone. Oh. 
Facebook Hollywood. I'm here with Miles Jones, Jane Avant, and Jameson Doheny, the whistleblowers who exposed the nefarious data dealings of Teleplex and its eccentric CEO, Leave Giorgio. Hello, gang. What's up, LA? What's up, dudes? Welcome. Uh, at this point, it seems as though everyone in America has read the book you three co-wrote, Take Me to Tarzana, How Three Millennials Took Down Teleplex. It's quite a timely story about the dangers of living in our current digital age. In fact, some people have gone so far as to compare this book and its cultural significance to that of Upton Sinclair's The Jungle. What do you say about that? 